Um, old people fucking. Uh, you have ever been friend zoned by your wife? Is it helping, Jamie? Just the random things I'm shouting out. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I don't remember this email. I just feel like that's the best thing to say. This e- this listener says, but I'm uh, you know me- me- try trying new things, mix it up a little bit. Um, have you ever been friend zoned by your own wife? I have. She hates me, and I don't know what to do. I want to man up and just end it, but she spent all day today flirting with a mutual mutual friend and it's massively pissed me off i want to know how you guys would deal with this utter bullshit and it, that is fucking bullshit yeah if she if she is actually flirting with this guy in front of you then you need to get put a stop to that straight off the bat yeah just just fuck off you know what i mean my um my uncle that passed away him and like my auntie that i can't stand they were basically like that like Oh, God. They, they'd been together for like fucking 50 something years but they yeah. never they were just she when even when she he passed away and she was doing her normal bullshit she turned around and said that they were like more they more like brothers and sisters living together yeah and i think some relationships can go that way i think um you become more companions than actual like lovers if you know what i mean sometimes yeah, and I think you. It's always good to like try and bring yourself back. If like if this guy has wants any continuation of his um, marriage, oh, mm-hmm. um, and doesn't want to like just end it, then he kind of needs to try and put some fire back in that situation mm-hmm. and see if it doesn't work. Then you know you tried. Yeah, mix it up and, a bit. Um, uh, that might be what it is. She might because she's looking for attention. The husband might not necessarily be giving it yeah. the right amount of attention, so she's getting it elsewhere, craving mm-hmm. it elsewhere, or she's just a straight up dickhead. So <laughs> it's one or the other. <laughs> oh, I would have been kicking off, man! Like fucking makes you laugh though because. In the last previous episode, we had the listener that a fiance just got up and fucking left her. Bolted, yeah. Then and there. And then you got this guy that's like, I'm pissed off, but I don't want to. I just, it's just, yeah, there's just so like zero to a hundred with different people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, obviously we don't know the ins and outs of the situation, how their relationship is. So we're kind of just vibing off one like email. So it's, Mm. it's hard for us to, know the exact thing to do but i think put that effort in if you're not if it's not being reciprocated and you're not getting anything back and like she doesn't give a shit about your feelings when it comes to flirting with the other guy or if she's not flirting necessarily but you're being sensitive to it or whatever that needs to be addressed as well because Mm -hmm. i've done it in the past where i'm completely psychopathic about charlotte talking to people certain people and stuff like that and it's just silliness. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. And it's more my own insecurities that came up rather than actually anything that was happening. Hmm. Yeah, no, I agree um, with that. Yeah, I just think you've got to fucking... You've got to put in that bit of effort, see if it's reciprocated. If not, you know that you've tried and off you pop. That's the thing, right? That's the, the part that people go back for, right? Yeah. And like If you just get up and storm away when you've calmed down, you're thinking there could have been more or what if and stuff like that. But if you've cooled yourself down and you've taken that step to try and change things and it still isn't worked, mm. then you know that it's, it's done. There's no ifs and buts. Like you've, you've put the effort in and you can go away, not happy, but knowing there's nothing else there. Yeah. And I think it's only natural for people to grow apart as they have been together for a long time, but mm-hmm. it's how you deal with it when, because they're being, I've been married for a long time. There's times where you are more distant than others or not getting along as great. Then you have to like, kind of bring it back to where you should be. Yeah. And it's about knowing how to do that and stuff like that. And being a man, unfortunately, this is going to sound slightly sexist being a man dealing with emotions and problems is not our fucking strong point. Do you know what I mean? so yeah we're not very good at like dealing with or expressing feelings mm-hmm. um 
I would say I'm quite in tune with my feelings, but I shut down. If I instead of being, I used to be a big arguer um, back in the day, but as I've got older, I just shut down now, and yeah, that's not a good too. thing. It's not a good thing because you're internalizing no. everything, and it's yeah. not good. It just leads to up. you like exploding later on. Yeah, I'll end up being a powder keg three weeks later, screaming at an old woman in traffic or something. Just so. <laughs> 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 um, it's not healthy for you it's not healthy for your relationship it's not healthy for anything I think as as I said just like put a bit of effort in see what happens and take it from there yeah yeah for sure I agree I don't think there's much more I can I think that is exactly what I would have said the same mm. if not fuck you and just fucking storm out but I don't yeah, think well. that's the that's not the healthy way of dealing with things no you know what I mean? No. But that's what that's what I say, like it leads up if you do things like that, it just leaves doors open. Yeah, and it's the it, that's the back. easiest thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, to get up and just fucking leave. Um it's harder to work on it. And I think obviously if this guy was really dead set on going, he would have gone already. So I think I think give it a go. Yeah. There's still something there for you. Yeah. And like we've always said relationships are, are not fucking easy and they do take constant fucking work and it's yeah. the the little relaxing parts where you you get stuck in the bits that are the the time when you think oh this is easy it's probably you should be doing a bit more <laughs> yeah exactly and you like no one's fucking innocent and fucking um the best person to be in a relationship with everyone's got their vices and what they do wrong and shit like that do you know what i mean yeah, like I think it's I'm carrying tough. on all right, and then Charlotte will say something like I I'm terrible at doing this, this, and that, and then you're brought right fucking back down to earth. Put it that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why I always say like if it doesn't work between me and Sabina, I ain't fucking bothering. Like I'm not doing it again. I'm either losing my hand or I'm paying for prostitutes because I'm done. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Enough. Or one of your five fucking sex toys will come back into full use. Out of retirement. <laughs> but um, but good luck. Hope, we hope you get it sorted. We never want emails to end with, you know, you should fucking leave and all this sort of stuff. It's always worth putting no. that bit of extra in just to see if you can turn it around. I'm sure um, the YouTube will be some fucking black and white comment saying, right, you should just leave her, man. Yeah. Something like that. That's normally what the YouTube comments are like. Um, but it's easy for us to turn around and say that without actually going into any depth. I think we've kind of give you a balanced answer, if anything. Yeah, it's what you should get. You got you got to think about it. Food for thought, Jay. Food for thought. Mm-hmm.